So your company is doing what? What are you doing to, to sort of get around this? Well, for, for any breed that you know, uh, I can find, I'm out there looking for these efficient cows and trying to then introduce them back into the seed stock industry. And um, in, in the Angus breed, we, we, we introduced uh, semen in there on specific bulls, but there is great resistance to the seed stock industry because these cattle don't carry the greatest numbers. And of course, then they think they can't promote these cattle. In the dairy, it's a little uh, easy because we sell them direct to the farmers, the commercial farmers themselves. And I mean, in Australia, we are seeing a massive uh, move towards crossbreeding. You know, and what amazes me, all these advisors that have been selecting these genetics for 20 years in the black and white breed, and the farmers have spent billions of dollars throughout the world on black and white genetics, all, you know, told that they were improving, and now they've been told to put everything within the bar of black and white bull. Yeah. And no one's taking responsibility for this. Mm -hmm. It's red bulls, it's brown Swiss bulls, it's jersey bulls, it's everything by black and white. And it's only because we've ignored the correct cows yeah. and selected from this high performance. And if you look at beef or you look at dairy, the animals that, there's no doubt that the animals that can float to the top, as I say, with these numbers, in the ideal environment you can't beat them. But you've got to be able to afford to create them. And we have modelled ourselves on the chicken and chicken and pork industry and we have looked at their gains and said, we've got to get those gains, we've got to be able to get these gains. But we've got two things. They house them, so they create the perfect environment, mm -hmm. and they feed them copious quantities of antibiotics yeah. and, and hormones. And they're also very easy to monitor, because the grain goes in here, yeah. and you get out the other end of what you're getting, and, and you, know, you can measure it daily. And we, we decide we design our beef and dairy cows for those same gains, and yet run them out in the paddock where it's changed, the weather changes, whatever, in yeah. half an hour. And the problem is that with the, with, the, with the pork and the chicken, they have a much more efficient digestive system mm -hmm. than your rumen. And so the rumen is going to use a whole lot more grain up to produce its kilogram of meat compared to a chicken or pork. So we've already lost the race. We really have to yeah. go back to the cheaper forages for ruminants. That's all there is to it. So you're really having to do a whole lot of legwork. Everybody else just, the geneticists look at their computer, go through, benchmark the top 10%, select those now on DNA for the top producers for whatever they're selecting for. You have to actually get out there and do the legwork and track these animals down and look at the detail, don't you? Well, you have to go and find these cows that are 12-year-old in the herd. They haven't missed a beat. They look like they're going to go to the 22. They're 12-year-old looking six, but you have to go and look at them. And with all the looking I've done, and we go back to the numbers, the better the numbers get, the worse the cattle get. From the economic functionality point of view, the better the numbers get, the worse the cattle get. That's but from the promotable point of view, That's see, right. our commercial producers are buying promotable genetics. Yes. Yeah. All the focus is on can we promote these genetics. So the companies that do all of this, they go to Barry's farm. If he's not known out the back somewhere, even if they did understand he had the best cattle, they leave them there. They come to your place, your promoter will sell your bulls last year, you're out in the lights here. They select the genetics from there regardless. And the, the, the commercial farmer comes along in great faith thinking they're buying the best. Got the beautiful glossy brochures, everything looks great until the end product comes along.